We're back on Fog Football with yet another FIFA 23 career mode. But this one is going to be a success. This one is not going to be a failure like all the others where we get sacked after six months in charge. Because this one is not just any old FIFA 23 career mode. It is a FIFA 23 mode career on the PS5. The PlayStation 5. The PS5. The big boys are back in town and we are back in the form of Dundee United. Now Dundee United recently appointed Jim Goodwin as the manager but let's be honest he's shit he's gonna take them down so we have decided just to sack him in the morning so to speak we've pushed him at the club and we have installed Mr Fogg for his like 10 billion chance at getting it right. Can we win a trophy? Well, there's not Dundee United haven't won many trophies, so we'll be trying to add a couple more to the collection list. But Dundee United have been crowned champions one time of the uh, domestic league, so we'll be going for uh, title number two. Doesn't quite sound as good as title fifty six, but still, it was nineteen eighty three, I believe. It was part of the. It was a new firm era. Let's be honest, Aberdeen, Dundee United, they were dominating Scottish football. For about three years. And then they both went to shit. So yeah. We're going to see if we can make Dundee United great again. Also won two domestic cups. That seems very low guys. So let me know Dundee United fans. Is that actually correct? Because I would assume that. Among the Scottish Cup and the League Cup. I would have to say Dundee United has won more than just two. But anyway. Our transfer budget is 1.9 million. Club worth is 3.4. I mean that seems pretty low. It's, it's mental to me that you could literally walk into Tanadice and buy Dundee United if you had 3.5 million. Although someone did buy Rangers for a quid, so... Yeah, well, if you look at it like that, then... <laughs> could happen. Uh, if I make it, I'll buy them. Let's look at our board... <laughs> let's look at our board expectations. Domestic success... Success is success. high. <laughs> yeah, what was that? So, domestic success is high. Conento success is very... I mean, when are they ever going to be in Europe to worry about Conento success? We're anyway? in Europe, mate. Oh, conference league. <laughs> brand exposure low, financial is high, and youth development is high. So I think we will try and focus on youth this career mode quite a lot because let's be honest, Dundee United have been kind of known for having a great youth team, bringing through great youth players over the years, and we want to kind of continue that trend. So that's going to be something that Andy we... Andy Robertson. Andy Robertson, man. Gary McKay, Stephen, Stuart Ryan Armstrong. Ah, anyway, 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 anyway. Sifke. We, we are. Ah, nah, he was kind of important, mate. He came in a dinghy. Oh. Did he? What? Oh. Uh, anyway, let's um, inflate our egos up. Let's look at the team ratings. We've got a two-star Dundee United. Do I agree with Dundee United being two stars? You know what? Probably I do, because I think we've all said that Dundee United have a too good a squad to get relegated. So if we are being honest to ourselves, yeah. they probably do deserve two stars. But let's have a quick look at everybody else in the league. So you've got Hearts, three stars, no complaints with that. Third best team in the country. I think they deserve a three star rating. Hibs, two and a half. You know what? Due to recent form, I think they probably are worthy of being two and a half. Uh, Kilmarnock, one and a half. I've noticed that the upgrade for FIFA 23, a lot of Scottish clubs have been downgraded and a lot of them are now just one and a half star teams. We've got Livy, one and a half star. What do you as... make of their transfer budget? 1.8 fucking Davy Martindale. What city are they from? Livingston. Uh, Davy Martindale wishes this was realistic, doesn't he? Oh, fuck you know, see if you take the decimal point and you move it to the right a few places, like, I mean, it could be a spot on. 285 quid. Mullerwell, one and a half star team. Rangers are three and a half star team. The same as Celtic. What's your thoughts on that? And would you trust Ross Wilson to spend 21.5 million? No. Um, personally, the Rangers being a three and a half star team. I'd say the players Rangers have got they're a four star team. I'd say Celtic are four and a half. Four and a half, four, four, four star, alright. The Rangers bias there, obviously creeping through. We move into no, but Vos I see three and a half star team, that wouldn't even be the worst team in the Premiership, so how am I wrong? Ah, fair enough. Ross County, one and a half stars. St Johnston, one and a half stars. St Mirren, one and a half stars. I think St Mirren should be two, at uh, least two. I think so as well, and Aberdeen too. So, by my calculations, we've got Celtic and Rangers, three and a half. We've got Hearts, three. Hibs, two and a half. Aberdeen and Dundee, United, two. And then everybody else, one. 
it looks like to me what FIFA have done is they practically just went the rate they've done the ratings by like size of club. So they've gave the two biggest clubs three and a half stars. They've gave the third biggest club hearts in Scotland. Yep, I'm gonna say that. Um, and then they've gave like you know Hibs and Aberdeen. And then they've gave Dundee United who are also. And then it's like all the wee shitey clubs that have no fans have gave one and a half stars. No fans. Prick. Anyway, let's go. Dundee United, let's get this career mode started. This is at home stadium. I guess we'll call it Tanadice. Why not? Eh? Court Lane. Tana, 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 Tana Dice. is more over, so make it orange. Is it going to be packed out like it was in that game against Ice Ed? Or is it going to be dead? I'm going to be dead. Well, hopefully we can give the fans many nights like that Ace Ed night. So that's what we're hoping Which for. Which one? The 1-0 uh, or the 9-0? Uh, oh. I thought it was 7-0, like, but call it 9-0. That was a pretty good performance. 19.6 thousand. Is it over? Is the tie over? <laughs> hey. Listen, buddy, don't be getting wise with us, right? It's only FIFA. Yeah, we play Ultimate because we're Unless not it's my backs. channel, or it's only FIFA. And... Uh, half length, I think we'll go five minutes. Yep, that's fair enough. Bang in the middle. Currency, we'll go Sterling. Competitions, enable. Yep. I don't like the fact that we're in it, but you know what? We're in it, so we have to be in it. Realistic. Uh, for negotiation strictness, it must be strict. Um, transfer window, disable it for the disable cost window. international jobs. Really? Yes, I hate that. Okay, then. We don't want any international jobs. And financial takeover would we'll be realistic. Fuck me. Jesus Christ. You get a billion million? A billion? Well, oh, I asked some. A billion million? Oh, right, I mean a billion. Anyway, we're going to disable it because, let's be honest, no one really is. No one's going to put money in the Scottish FIPA, so. Aye. I know. I'd love to say we're going to get millions, but we're not going to get millions. Football, why do we love it? Because it's full of fucking sectarianism and bigotry. That's why we love it, brother. Oh, yeah. Nice, nah, Scottish fit, but where would you be without it, man? Here we go. We're just going to call it DU because that's, that's how we roll on this channel. That's it. Oh. There he is, Mr. Fogg. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce Coming in. Oh, and he's sporting the Dundee United colours. Look at that. That's what, the worst. What a brown nozzle. Eggs. <laughs> he's, He's came, he's, he's came with the uh, tangerine. Skip. Now we have these competitions that we could enter, but screw that, man. No one plays these, honestly. Unless you're sad and you're desperate for the money. We are sad, like, but we're, you know, know, we're, we're, not, not, we're not playing. Uh, anyway, that's us, guys. We've managed to get into the career mode. We are the new manager. Number one! Probably be, uh, number one, that's probably how many points we'll have after 10 games. Oh -ho! Anyway, let's have a quick look at the squad because the squad means everything. You can't go anywhere without a squad. If you don't have a squad, then you're pretty much screwed. We do not agree that the squad is probably the most important thing. Other than the people holding the controllers, the squads are pretty important. Of course, mate. So we'll take a rocket scientist for that. So we're going to look through the goalkeepers. Now, the big question I've got to ask is... How 68. The, how is Mark Bergretti 68 overall? I thought he was finished. I'm not even saying that for that wee joke. I thought nah, I don't think he was Australian. Oh, come on, he's always been Australian. What well, never knew him. Does that sound like a Finnish name to you? No, but I thought he was. I tell you what, a couple of games in his career at Dundee United could be Finnish. What name Ericsson sounds Finnish? Uh, we've got Jack Newman, a guy that we uh, played in the the Pez career mode, my Pez Master League back in the day. Ericsson, there he is. That's the guy. who's Finnish. I uh, Ericsson who is loaned out, so that means we only have two goalkeepers. One of them's a lot higher rated than the other, but let's be honest, we all know he's shite, so... So exactly, that's it. Uh, Left-backs, we've got Scott McMahon, 66 overall, and Ices Bejic, who is 69 Aussie overall. international. So, uh, yeah, excited to see Bejic should be one of our key players. We move on to the centre-backs, got Liam Smith, 64, Ryan Edwards, 68, Charlie Mulgrew, 68. Already retired. Ah, that's a shame. I would like to try and talk him out of that, but... Uh, that's what sucks. You can't even talk. You can't even say, look, mate, I'll give you an extra tenner if you stay. No, at least a football manager, you can. No, you can beg them, like, plead them. Uh, you can threaten them. You can put stuff through the letter boxes and Graham. threaten them to stay. Ross Graham. Uh, we have Loic Aina. Don't know who he is, but he's on loan. He probably, I mean, why do you even loan someone who's 55? Obviously, they, they don't know in real life he's a 55, but, I mean, it just seems a bit pointless. Uh, right back, we've only got one, and it's Kieran Freeman. So I don't know if we'll actually play this guy at right back, or maybe we'll play McMahon, or maybe we can do something. Or I don't know, maybe we will play this guy. this guy again. We've got Craig Sibbled in the midfield, who they signed from Livingston. Thoughts on Craig Sibbled? I thought he's all right, but obviously this season he's not all right. Thoughts on um, Livingston having the best team they've had in years? I don't know how anyone can make that uh, assumption based on the fact that they lose their key players every year. 
Yeah, I can. So, someone I, said that in sports scene. It pissed me off. I don't think it is. I think it's probably. I think their team gets worse. Don't get me wrong. Like Joel Newbley's good, but he's away. Uh, you got Dylan Levitt, who again, you know, I still can't believe Dundee didn't manage to sign this guy. The best team for Levy back to it was when they had Dykes. Oh, hundred percent. But what do you? Th- what's your thoughts on Orban to finish third in the league? No. What's your thoughts on this guy being a sixty-nine overall? Ho- wait, holy shit! When Dundee United, f- when, when Livingston finished fourth in the league, they'd only been in existence for seven years. Why that? Yeah, that's good. FIFA, FIFA 02, Livingston were the team to be. Anyway, uh, Dylan Levitt, 69 overall. I'm, well, yeah, that's fair enough. Maybe a 70 could warrant. No, I mean, what's your thoughts on, like, Dundee United being able to sign him on a permanent deal? I thought, I thought, I thought it was pretty good, yeah. Especially his age. I know. You can understand if they're signing someone who's, like, towards the end of their career. Although, but... I think he'll be away in the summer. True. Uh, well, they get good money, who knows. Ian Harks, another guy who's a good player. Uh, you got Jamie McGrath on loan from Wigan. Will he be making a permanent deal? I don't know. It's not really worked for him since he left St. Marin. He finds himself back in the Scottish League. So, we've got Arno Doom, the uh, former Hearts man, 33 now, 60 overall. So, definitely might be room for him in the starting 11. Kai, Fowler on him. Uh, Cam, 53 overall. I don't think he's going to get much game time. We've got Chalmers, who is out on loan at Tranmere Rovers. Uh, we've got Glenn Middleton on the. Glenn Middleton's only 22? No. Huh? I think he's been around for ages. Well, he was like 17, no, when he broke into the Oh, that's very true. 66 overall. But Niskanen is also Finnish. 65 overall. We've got uh, Kujo, 18, 57 overall. Peter Paul at 64. The attacking options aren't great. We've got Stephen Fletcher, 69 overall. He's got absolutely no pace. We've got this guy who's 54, and this everything about this guy absolutely sucks, man. I checked out his stats before this cream world started. Look at this guy below him. Rory McLeod, 50. He's only 16, so maybe he can become good. But this guy's 21 from Uganda. He's not going to be good. Then you've got Tony Watt, who's currently out on loan. Why? For me, this is a bit of a disaster here. Dundee United, who are in a relegation battle, why you would get rid of Tony Watt? I know it's only on loan, but still, by the time he comes back to the club, you could find yourselves in the championship. Surely they should have played him and Fletcher up front in a few games. Try uh, it. Yeah, I mean, that's just goals, isn't it? Surely. Surely if you're, if you're at Ibrox or Celtic Park, can you not just stick those two up top and, and everyone else behind the ball? And just lump it up to them and hope for the best. Exactly. Maybe that'll be our tactics. Well, we don't have them. When he comes back at the end of the season, that can be Aye, our tactics. When he comes back. If we're still in a job. Anyway, speaking of a job, let's find out how we got on. Let's see if we can keep our job. It's coming up to the first game of the cinch. Premiership season, and I, for one, cannot wait. Look, I'm sick of us getting off to absolute shite starts. I think we need to make an impact early on in this career mode, and I'm hoping that we can get a positive result. That's what we'll be looking to do. But unfortunately, I didn't know we were taking on Celtic, so that positive result has kind of just <laughs> jumped the windy. the windy high. Yeah, you speak about 9-0 earlier. Could we be looking at another 9-0? 9-0 to the Tarriers. Nah, that's what 9-0 to Dundee United. And then we'll go on and we'll win nine in a row. And we'll make it ten league titles for United. How's Here that we sound? go. It's ten in a row. Terry Monroe. All smiles ahead of kickoff. Oh, here we are. First game of the season. We're arriving after the bus. What is your first impression of Mr. Fogg? He looks good. He's got the ginger beard, the ginger top, ginger bus, ginger stands. We've got green, white and gold here. And here we go. Look, as long as he's got the three points come the end of this game, that is all that... Matters. I think I've got Stephen Fletcher there. There's a big poster of Stephen Fletcher in the crowd. I don't know why all the seats are green. Yeah, uh, could just be Celtic fans. No, it's not. It's <laughs> the one spray painted them. <laughs> could be. Aye. Vandalism here inside There's the Jay side uh, high rises. So it is. Nice flats in the background. I wouldn't mind rent one of them out. Getting a season ticket at Dundee United. Aye, there we go. Anyway, here's Kyogo. Not where I got a season ticket at. Thank Castle, no? That's true, yeah, well, the manager done the internet, need to think about these things. Uh, is that Kyogo? I'm going to assume it is. No, it is. Doesn't really look like him, but anyway, got Beer Getty in nets for us. Had to go with him, it's either him or Newman. They uh, really need to get the face, Back guys. five, with Beerich, Smith, Mulgrew, Edwards and McCann. Uh, got Levitt and Shuham in midfield. And up front, it's a three of Middleton on the left, Pollock on the right. And face scanned Stevie Fletcher. Is it not a joke though? Oh, he's like the only face. I mean, I think Carter Fickers will be scanned. Yota, Aye. Moy, because they're all like, you know, Premier League. 
So Premier League now. Not I was uh, Benfica. Uh, we've got Joe Hart though in the X for Celtic. 75 overall. I do not agree with that whatsoever. Greg Taylor, Starfield, Carter, Fickles and Mikey Johnson. Or That's Alistair Johnson, eh, Mikey. On the right. We've got Aaron Moy, Callum McGregor. He still can't get a face scan. And Rio Hatati. And up front. I uh, wasn't expecting this free to be starting this. Yeah, I'm going to shit myself if Axe Ivanovic scores. But yeah, uh, I'm going to drop one. It's a uh, hack. Uh, shout out to Ryan 118. It's uh, Hacks of Anifich, Kyogo, and Abada. Does that give us a chance? Those three up front, does that mean that we're more likely to get something out of this game? Maybe it does, right? But see, back to Rad 118, he put out a tweet like three days after the Cup final. He went, oh, why couldn't Hacks of Anifich have scored that goal? Sad bastard. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> we're underway. At Tanadice. Celtic. Hi, boot. Look at that. Getting us started. Lovely job. In the game. Smith. Drills a ball out to McMahon. Vince McMahon. No chance. In hell. Arnold Schum. Oh, it's not a great ball for Schum, and he's just gave that away there. Oh, no Celtic now on the attack. No need to fear. Aaron Moy with the step overs. Are we fearing it? Hitati. Oh, and it's a crucial block there, Mulgrew. It was crucial, crucial, plays crucial. It out, plays it out to Middleton. Middleton will try and look for Fletcher, and Fletcher has actually won it. What? Uh, but they've gave a they've gave a throw into uh, Selick. So, oh, a nice tackle here. Right ball played into Shum. Back to Smith. Smith gets a bit fortunate there with his pass. But Charlie Mogu, the former Celtic man, he'll play it out to McCann. McCann now doing this right hand side. He boss pass. McCann. It's going to be McCann. Oh, Taylor makes the tackle. McCann still with the ball. McCann to Shum into the box. Stevie Fletcher wasn't he there. Where or was maybe, he? Maybe he was there on the cross was just shite. Either way though, it's still nil nil. Good first time ball. Haxabanovic. I'm going to shite myself. Ah, look at that, right, Edwards. Haxabanovic shot himself there when he seen the Dundee United ultras come at him. Right, here we go. Ball played it to Pollitt. Pollitt now is. We're running here. Can Pollitt do anything? Oh, it's. It Pollitt. didn't really work though, did it's it? Pollitt. He's going to go for a cross back post Middleton. Oh. Poor connection and Joe Hart Joe. makes a save. It's a go for Joe. Hacks of Anifich. Mulgrew, Hatati, great save from Biagetti. Right, he didn't need to run that out though. Like, we're under pressure, right? No, this, is, this is in. No, we'll, we'll defend this, right? Just get your head to it. Aaron Moy's coming over. Thinks he's going to do something. We're going to just be like, no, not today, Aaron. Very loud whistles in this game. Yeah, here we go. Come on. Win that. Win it, win it, win it. No, and it's Brigetti again. We had another save. Lovely jubbly. Counter. Oh, out right. Boom. Not quite what we intended, but we've got it back. Pollitt. It's Mulgrew. Mulgrew back to Biagretti. Who will launch the ball. Fucking no need for that, man. And it's, uh, it's given away now. Celtic with possession of the ball back. Stevie Fletcher. That's what you like to see them tracking back into defence. Uh, but Celtic, you're trying to make a breakthrough. Aaron Moy with the ball. He's been pestered and he's actually lost it. And now it's Glenn Middleton. Middleton keeps it and he finds Dylan Levitt. Levitt's got Middleton back. Maybe Dylan. Back he'll flick to Beach and now can we create something here? We've got Stevie Fletcher in the middle. Back post. Oh, Why is he dropped at the road? Stevie Fletcher, come on, son. Fletcher, where's he going? Oh. He's, oh, he's went for... You dirty greedy oh, bastard! Oh, oh, I was forced on a corner. It didn't actually happen, did it? So, Aaron Moy, Aksabanovic. Oh no! No! Oh ho ho! I'll do. I'll do. Mate, pull it. I'll do, donkey. Pull it, looking for Fletcher, and he's found Fletcher. But the problem is, Fletcher's all alone. Who's he going to find? Oh, it's funny, Pollitt. Pollitt, Peter Pollitt. Shot block, Fletcher heads it into Schum and Schum. Oh, so he's on the oh right. no, and Stevie Fletcher's doing. He's holding his legs. Can Stevie Fletcher's 46 year old knees <laughs> be absolutely done in? Concussed. Fletch Fletcher's down. It doesn't look good. Well, he's back up, but oh. he's complaining. Last he's, thing he's, we he's, he's calling for the roll of the dice. Last nah, thing we keep can, him on to half time. Last thing we can afford to lose Stevie Fletcher. Oh no. Moy. Oh no. Oh! Celtic turned on the style there. 
All right, come on, Middleton. Oh, fucking hell, what was that? I don't know what that was. I don't know how he just didn't play it to him. He continues his run. Charlie McGrew gives away the free kick. Yeah, we'll take it, I guess. Dangerous free kick, dangerous free kick. Here, yeah, we defend this, we might get to half time with a draw intact. Clean sheet intact. Celtic here forcing up the space. That's a benefit. Oh, it's one again. Get out of it. Get out of it. And now it's played it to Edwards. And can Dundee United create something? No, because Edwards is shite and he overruns it. Ah, well. But it is we'll half time. It's half time. at the break. We're holding on. Stephen Fletcher's knees, his ligaments are holding on as well. And Kyogo Furahashi has had a slow day at the office. And look at that, Dundee United have turned up the other day at Tannadice. I think we've been the better team. 50-50 possession, it's not often Ange's teams have to, you know, share the same possession. But we've, we've stuck into this game, we've created more chances, we've really kind of denied Celtic for having any good chances they as haven't well. haven't made so, one tackle, Celtic. That's yeah, weird. That's Celtic weird. haven't made a single tackle, which is a bit strange. But anyway, we will get into the second half. Let's see if we can continue. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, good block. Good block, come on. There we go. Ball played out to Middleton. He's running, Stephen Fletcher. Someone. Middleton, back to Shum. Out to McCann. And... Why the hell is it went this far back? What are we doing? I don't know. Chance is gone. Beach. Fletcher. Oh, the run for Middleton got made, but the pass did not. Fletcher. Still Fletcher. Stevie Fletcher. Back post. Oh, and Joe Hart's oh. there. He collides into the pole as well. Well, it to Pollock. Strikes oh. it first time. Tell you what, like, not very good. If it was on target, could have won it. Tell you what, man. So what's happened to Celtic here? They're still probably going to win. Right, probably like we never stop, apparently. Well, find out. Neither do we. We've gave everything in this uh, opening 59 minutes with half an hour to go. Could go either way here. So that's a poor pass there. The Kyogo. Ryan Edwards plays it to Beach. Beach. Oh, again, plays it to Glenn Middleton. Now we've got Middleton. It's Glenn Middleton. He's got options. He's got Stevie Fletcher. Middleton. Oh, oh my no, God. I thought no. it was in. I thought it was in. Gonna fall for Dylan Levitt. Levitt. Ball in. It's not a great one. It's away and Adam oh, Moy. Push, wasn't it? Will be first to it. Kyogo now with the ball. Played out to Hack Sabanovic. When are Celtic bringing on the big guns? That's what I've got to wonder here. Ball played up to Kyogo who turns around. He's... Oh no! It's, it's, it's Hack Sabanovic. Bugetti, for God's sake! What's that all about? Again, it's just shite defending. Bigger at him, man. What's he doing? Oh, he's not had a good game, Kyogo. Big guns! Nay guns! Seeing you bring the goal out of a situation, like, he should be getting that. So, in other words, you brought him out. Yeah. There you go. Well, it's not like the defenders were doing anything. We had him covered. The had angle, covered. He, was at, he was at a shite angle. I wouldn't stop him conceding a goal with a shite angle. Kyogo with the goal. Undeserved, man. Fucking joke. And we trail. By a goal to nil. Oh, Jesus Christ, I never touched them. Right, that needs to happen. You're taking our Stephen Fletcher? Yes. Fucking hell, what are you doing? His legs are done. Single-handedly costing us this game. Oh, I Anyway, here comes on Yota and Maida. Create our only good fucking chances of the game. Celtic turning things up. Stephen Fletcher has to go off. Not quite sure why, but... We'll speak about it after the match, I guess. Breakdown. Ball away for Charlie McGrew. Celtic now. Wait, oh, he can't do that. Well, he's put it wide. Can he believe that, Yota? And uh, Mr. Fogg looks on. Fake his beard, none to man. Looks impressed. I don't know, Jimmy McGrath coming on. He, we know he can score, apparently. Only problem is he can't really get any against the old firm, so we'll have to... We'll have to wait and see how the next uh, 14, 16, 15 minutes play out. Ball played up to Glenn Middleton. We've got short ass. And what's Glenn Middleton doing? I don't know. My head's gone. 
Retaining possession proving difficult. Well, Mark Briagetti, come on, Mark Briagetti, do something, Briagetti. Well, for fuck's sake, Briagetti. Well, good. Don't know what's happening here, but uh, <laughs> one half of Dundee United has completely went to shite. And now we've got Glenn Middleton, this cannon's going to look for a run. He can't really go anywhere, he's got a uh, be it shoot. Come on. Be it into. Oh, Fucking pish. Apologies, made a mistake, mate. Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah. I make a mistake. I'm sure you know what that's like. Get the ball out of him, man. Fuck for he just takes all the time away from us. Edwards. What ball. in the fuck is that? Another ball played behind, but Shum there with a great tackle, right? Shum make the run. Shum will get to this, but again, we don't have much. Oh, quality. Looking for Middleton. Oh, Middleton. What? Or at least I create chances. Hey, well, can you fucking score one of them, seriously? What? I score more than you. Now we've got O, Awata and Ralston coming on. Celtic in full effect here. Oh, oh, oh. What way? Will the game go? Oh, it's looking like going Celtic's way unless we can get a miracle here. Shum. I don't even think we brought it, someone on. We just took Shum off. What the fuck? Shum's just left the building. Shum. Broom, broom. Had to win that. Oh, no. Mulgrew. Oh no! Oh yes! Awful for Charlie McGrew. Awful man, gifting his former team a ah, goal. And it's Dyson Maida with the goal. And I think it's fair to say that Celtic will take the points today. Joe Hart celebrating like they've won the league. What's this? My God, fuck you, what are you doing? <laughs> awful defending. Look at the neck yet, man. Nah, it could have went anywhere. That's a lucky break for Celtic. <laughs> It's a lucky break indeed. Who do anywhere? Ah, so uh, Dundee United. They put up a good fight today, but in the end, it's it's gonna not gonna matter, is it? Nope, it's not gonna matter. Hee haw! Pull it. Just not good enough. That uh, unforgivable. Good challenge by Smith, but again, all that does is delay. Eat the clock. And that's it. Tati. Celtic no, to make it free. He should have blew the whistle, but no intention of blowing the whistle. Good save for Brigetti, but he can't. But he oh, the, ho, the referee is a good guy. He's just screwed Celtic out of a third goal. But, um, um, fuck with it, he's had something wrong with him. Face plant at the deck. And um, thoughts on that? Quick thoughts, quick reaction thoughts after the game. Goals from Kyogo Furuhashi and Dyson Maida giving Celtic a 2 0 win. I feel like Celtic towards. The latter stages of the game, they did turn it up, and um, yeah, yeah we turned it down. <laughs> Combination of both. I mean, I'm not happy. At obviously, the defeat, but I think there's enough there to to see that if we play like that this season, we can go places. The substitutions didn't do much. Nah, I feel like when we took Stephen Fletcher, I feel even though he only played a six point two, like I feel, I feel I like it's fucking brilliant, money. <laughs> I feel like the output was kind of gone when Fletcher went off. Let's just hope the injury isn't bad. What else? What um? We are pumped. Anyway, that's it, guys. Celtic with a 2-0 win. Kilmarnock joining them. Also with a 2-0 win at Rugby Park. Oh. oh, no, and it is bad news. In fact, it's very bad news. Stephen Fletcher has suffered a hyper-extended knee injury and will be out for up to four weeks. Uh, that, I mean, I see it's bad news because... No it, one else. Yeah, no, he's pretty much the only guy we've got capable of scoring goals. Maybe you couldn't tell that based on the last game, but trust me, if you thought he was bad, you don't want to see the next people that are getting pushed into that striker role. But let's have a quick look at the league table then before we go. Oh, well, yeah, you go Dundee United. They're one place higher than they are in real life. Should be great for we to go. Exactly, that's it. That's what it's all about. Hey, we got them in the, uh, the, the relegation playoffs. That's what life saw. But at the top of the table, though, it was wins. For Hearts, Celtic, Kilmarnock, Rangers and St. Johnston. Do you think this could be the signs? Could this be the beginning of a five-way title fight? No chance. No chance. And anyway, guys, that is it. We'll be back in the next game. And it's going to be an away trip to Tynecastle. I feel like whoever did this fixture list completely shafted us up the ass. Yes. Who's up next after that? Oh, I'm scared to look. Hibs. Oh, yeah. Oh, brilliant. St. Johnston. Ah, okay. Now we're getting to the shite teams. Come on. Ah, there you go.
Easy wins, easy dubs. Ah, yeah, Aberdeen, New Farm Derby. We never lose those games. And then, Ali, at 17th of September, we travel to that place. That place that charge you 50 grand for a fucking executive seat. What a joke. Anyway, guys, that's been it. Episode 1, Dundee Reddit Career Mode. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. And an Edinburgh doubleheader for more content. Make sure you stay tuned to Fog Fit, but until then, peace.